Aloha. I'm Marcia Joyner, and we are navigating the journey. And today's journey is right here in Honolulu, close to home. And we are, have with us Dr. Lynn Pang from YNI Cares and Lisa. And you know, I'll never get your last name right, so we're going to skip that. Just know this is Lisa. And she is from the organization which we get or participate with adopting a family. So that's where we are today, adopting a family. I heard on the news this morning, just this morning, that one out of every six children in the United States is hungry. As the richest nation in the world, that's obscene, one out of six. But there are people like Lisa and Glenn that make sure that local children are taken care of. So, Glenn, aloha. Aloha. How are you, Marcia? <laughs> Marcia is my colleague on uh, Why and I Care. Well, tell us about Why and I Care. Well, you know, uh, when I decided to come on um, the air, uh, I really wanted to hear more about uh, Adopt a Family. Uh, you know, I'm very impressed with their organization. We're just uh, one of the many organizations that, uh, you know, try to um, do something with Adopt a Family because we realize, you know, there's so many. Uh, uh, needy families that aren't uh, really um, going to have a very Merry Christmas because of this uh, pandemic. And uh, just wanted to do something. But well, uh, I'm here just mainly to listen to uh, Lisa. Well, and, uh, Dr. Like Pei, to hear more about yeah, come on now, tell us <laughs> what, all right, with um, Dr. Pang is retired, but he's a real real one of the best doctors in the whole world because of his empathy and his compassion and one day he told me this is what we're doing and i said well okay of course anything he wanted of course but that, that was years ago and he put together this group to give free testing to children on the wyanai coast so that they could participate in athletics and the schools are required that they have these tests. So it was done free to all of the kids so they could participate in the school activities. So that is my memory of the beginning of Why I Care. And from that day until today, it's been caring, not just to Why and I, but to everybody. So here we are and Glenn told me we are going to adopt a family, which is just a precious thing to do this time of year. So Lisa, tell us about adopting a family. How do we do that? And if there's anyone that wants to adopt a family, how do we participate? How can they participate? Yes, hi, thank you so much for having us on your show today. And um, Parents Inc. has been in Hawaii for over 44 years serving Hawaii families. We're a parenting organization, so we serve a lot of families, um, needy families, and, and um, a variety of different um, things happening, especially this year with COVID, people losing their jobs and kids not in school and not having the income or the funds to you know, do cover the basics, rent, food. Um, so Parents Inc. has done an adoptive family program, um, usually around the holidays, just for those families that are unable to do the extras, you know, the, the Christmas gifts and the Christmas tree and you know, all the holiday festivities. But unfortunately this year, it's, they're much more needy because of other circumstances with the COVID pandemic. So we have just seen a really influx of donors, generous donors like you guys, Dr. Payne, who just have stepped up and said, hey, we wanna help in any way we can. Um, this year we've had the most families and donors participating in our program as ever. Um, so it's, it's good and bad. I mean, it's, it's bittersweet because it's sad that there's so many more people that needy, but then great that 
donors are stepping in and the, they have the compassion and the heart to help others that need help this holiday season. So what we do is we put out a um, email blast through our cohorts and um, through um, newsletters and ask any donor that wants to participate and adopt a family, meaning to take on that family for the season, to give them gifts and food and, and holiday spirit um, so they can enjoy something and have something positive in their life during the holidays. And then we also ask the families we service and, and other needy families around um, Hawaii, if you have a need this, this Christmas, let us know and we're gonna match you up to a donor that's you know, interested in helping out. So that's what we've been doing for the last couple of months and it's just been an awesome thing. Hey, you sent us some pictures. Yes. Uh, what, uh, what you're doing so we can show so the rest is, of the world. This is something that just happened over the weekend. Um, this was a donor group and they were called um, Foolish Addiction and they're into making wishes and dreams come true. They adopted one of our families, a family of four, mom, dad, and two children. And um, they showed up with a truck full of uh, goods, a lot of food items, as well as some gifts for the children. And I was able to be part of that um, exchange. Um, we often, a uh, Parents Inc. staff member needs to be present during the drop off and delivery of a donor and family. Um, so when we, we make sure we take um, pictures and, and then they get thank yous afterwards, a formal thank you letter and, um, it just is really a nice thing to be part of, to see the, the joy on people's face. Donors love to give, it makes them happy. And of course the families love to receive um, when they have a need. So it, it, it's really something that's heartwarming to experience. So will you go with us when we deliver the gifts? Yes, there will be some staff member at Parents Inc. that will be at every drop off and pick up for gifts, yes. And Glenn has been really excited about getting things for the children. Well, we're excited because what happens is we ask our families, you know, what is your need? And then of course we share the ages of the children and the genders of the children and gift ideas that maybe they want and share that with the donor. And then the donor gets to decide what they want to donate and pick out the gifts. Or, you know, like I said, sometimes it's food. It's, it's a dinner, a Christmas dinner from Safeway or it's an activity. Um, one year a donor gave a family tickets to the UH game. Um, so there's all different kinds of things you can do to support the family, to just bring them together and bring some joy and connect, connection um, through the holidays. So it's, it's positive and happy and not sad. Um, and we just are really happy that um, Dr. Payne reached out to us and, and wanted to adopt one of our families and brought the group in. I mean, like I said, the, the overwhelming response this year has just been awesome. And we just really appreciate um, the, the generous hearts we have here in Hawaii, the Aloha spirit and donors like you guys that care so much. Glenn, you're hiding. There you are. <laughs> so tell us how you got started with this adoptive family. Well, you know, um, every year we try to uh, come up with projects to do. I mean, we, we, do various things. I mean, mainly we've done, uh, you know, a lot of uh, uh, physical exams for children that uh, can't afford physical exams. And the, the main one, like you mentioned, was to do those sports physicals for the people and those kids in uh, Waianae. And at that time, um, of course, I was still working, so we were able to <laughs> have contact with a lot of nurses and uh, doctors that wanted to uh, volunteer. And so, you know, in two separate years, we, um, we did physical exams for over uh, 350 kids, you know, that couldn't afford their uh, physical exams to uh, participate in sports. And the DOE wanted uh, these kids to be uh, able to qualify for sports because uh, they felt, uh, you know, their grade point average actually increased when they uh, did sports. So we, uh, because uh, uh, I guess they didn't have any contact with, uh, you know, physicians and then, you know, if they did the, physical, they had to pay for it, but uh, we were able to do it on a volunteer basis. That's just one of our uh, 
of projects, but um, you know we have a, a project um, schedule. We're supposed to do it this year with uh, St. Francis being on the board with St. Francis. I was able to uh, connect with them to use one of their classrooms to teach Kapuna how to uh, uh, work their uh, iPhones and their iPads to connect with their families, you know, because during this uh, uh, pandemic, uh, you know, they're at home and they're not able to, uh, or they're in uh, assisted living facilities, not able to s connect with their families. So uh, we were um, trying to work with Chamber of Commerce uh, to um, connect this to a couple of uh, high schools you know, where the students would, uh, the seniors would have to do their community service, um, you know, for college. Mm -hmm. So we would have them uh, who, you know, these seniors are very adept at using technology to teach oh my, them. Oh yes, <laughs> yeah. teach the Kapuna how to do their uh, uh, my you know, five -year -old. technology. So yeah, my we were gonna do that and uh, there's another uh, project we were going to do with uh, Sisters of Kiao at uh, Wainai to uh, help them set up uh, aquaponics to um, uh, have the homeless, you know, work the aquaponics and uh, or uh, sustainability, you know, uh, being able to grow um, vegetables and raise fish and um, they could either sell it or use it for their shelves, but um, but you know we have uh, different projects and uh, plan, but you know with this pandemic we've been on hold. So since we were so dormant, I wanted to do something, <laughs> and I said uh, I don't know where we got it that uh, you know a lot of these kids were not uh, going to have a very merry Christmas because of uh, uh, you know this pandemic. A lot of the Parents were not working, and so this is where I uh, got on the computer and I looked for, you know, uh, gifting to some family, and this is how we found adopt a family, and I'm so happy that uh, we're able to do that. Um, at least, uh, you know, we're doing something. <laughs> Oh, you were always doing something. Yeah, no, but we we enjoy you know uh, just paying back. Uh, you know we've had you know we've been so blessed. Um, I have been blessed you know in, in my practice to be able to practice medicine for thirty five years and uh, having that opportunity and meeting so many wonderful people and that's how we started with why not care is. As I met my patients, uh, a lot of them came from Wainai, and um, when I talked to them, I uh, they invited me to Wainai, and I met with a lot of the Kapuna there. We talked about a lot of the homeless in Wainai, and and I, this is how I met Katie, our president, who's um, she is our. Uh, She's a PhD and uh, she teaches uh, non, uh, non-profit. She has a college that she goes to. And uh, without, why, without uh, Katie, I don't think I could have uh, she's, you know, she's, really gotten this organization. And then- She said that uh, she couldn't join us today because she had a class. Oh, yeah. but um, people like Masha and uh, all the people on our board have had some experience with nonprofits, and uh, they've been contributing a lot to, uh, uh, you know, this organization. But uh, we're fledging, and we we try to do whatever we can, and we we enjoy just uh, giving back. Yeah. Now, my daughter, who is a, an RN, work with, because she met you when you were testing the children in Wyanai, because she mm -hmm. worked with you then as a volunteer. That's how you met Marilyn. Yeah, and we hope, uh, you know, this year, this coming year, we'll be able to do 
you know, uh, a lot more. We we tried to do some project with the homeless, but that didn't. Yeah. Uh, tried to work with the state, but that didn't, didn't turn out. Yeah. Well, you know, everything is really crazy uh, with the state because they're so involved with the pandemic. I don't know that they have time for anything else. And then the budget is like, Oof. so, you know, for them, this is- I like to tell Lisa, ask Lisa if, uh, you know, we like to uh, collaborate with different organizations uh, and maybe we can get together to do something um, in, in the future. Oh yes, we would definitely like that. We collaborate with um, nonprofits and other community members all the time. Uh, we feel like that's the best thing to do to make sure that we're all doing our part in Hawaii and reaching as many people as we can. And um, right now, I'd like to mention that we are collaborating with um, Prevent Child Abuse Hawaii. We're running a photo contest. So it's another holiday thing we're doing. We're asking um, families to take a holiday picture of themselves and get a little creative if they want to dress in certain attire or they want to you know, spice it up a little bit to make it funny or they want to sit around the Christmas tree or just whatever is special to them to take a holiday photo, submit it to our Facebook page. And then we're going to um, announce a winner and we're giving them a hundred dollar gift card for uh, food at some restaurant. Uh, would you put your contact number, the email, you said your webpage, telephone number, whatever you want, so people can participate and they know how to reach you. Yes, definitely. Um, yes, an answer to Dr. Ping. Um, we would love to collaborate with you on, in the future, um, near future. <laughs> as soon as the holidays are over, we can get in contact. And it sounds like you're already doing great work volunteering for the YNI community and I'm sure other areas as well. We service um, uh, the whole Oahu and we also have two offices on the big island. Um, so we have a really big uh, reach in Hawaii and um, we'd love to have more support and collaboration um, in our services as well. I think the good thing about your organization, Lisa, is that um, you know, you're very accommodating and um, you, know, you return calls. I mean, that makes a big difference. And um, you, know, you, uh, you facilitate uh, our connection with the family and give us information we need. So I think that, uh, you know, uh, you know, I commend you for the organization you have. Uh. Well, thank you that we really appreciate that. We try mm -hmm. to do the best we can. We think um, relationships are the most important thing. Um, yes. That's what we, that's why parenting is so important to us. We, we understand and realize that the relationship between a parent and child is, is significant for their development and them to thrive as adults in the future. Um, so we have to learn how to build relationships with everyone in order to teach that, right, to parents and, and, and build strong families and foundations. Yeah, yeah so I think that that's very important that, um, you, know, when, you know, when people call an organization, uh, and I found that sometimes we don't get a call back or, um, you know, when we ask questions, we don't get an answer. So, I mean, I think that, uh, you know, the success depends upon how, um, how that is uh, facilitated, you know, your, um, you know, making it easier for the person that wants to donate. Yes. Yeah, don't you get us, don't you get sick. <laughs> That's not a lot. <laughs> That's not a lot. Oh, my allergy. <laughs> but yeah, it's not. But uh, yeah. thank you, Lisa, for um, yeah, allowing us to participate. Yes, thank you for participating. It's just, I've been overwhelmed this year um, at the response. It's just really nice when. Um, we're in this kind of situation in our, our country right now in our world and people just want to give back. They want to support each other. And it's just really nice. I think Hawaii, it, it, the Aloha spirit is thriving, always has been. When we're at our lowest, we seem to rise up 
can um, donate the most. Uh, giving is just significant. And that's something that a lot of nonprofits are experiencing right now is a lack of giving in, um, in our funding areas. You know, like the, the fundraisers we used to have, we can't have anymore because of COVID or um, the donations we used to get, we don't get because they're all earmarking the money towards the COVID issues. So I think a lot of nonprofits are kind of struggling and we feel that the same as like how families are struggling. And it's important for us to understand that we need to accommodate them as well. They're just, you know, there's so much pain I think going on right now and, and challenges in so many areas of people's lives that we wanna do anything we can to make it just a little bit better. Now, we, um, the program will be aired. Uh, we'll get, we'll send you a link at the end of the day. But it will be on YouTube and everywhere else. And the people that are watching that will watch, not today, but as it goes around the world, can they send pictures? Can they participate also? Absolutely, yes. Um, anyone can participate um, and uh, I can send a flyer out to, to you guys to post if you want, um, showing the details of that. But we, it's open to everyone. Anyone that needs help at this time, we want to accommodate. And we know that that's a lot of people and there's a lot of people that don't want to reach out. And that's another thing that um, we're struggling with. Some of our needy families don't, out of guilt and shame or you know other various reasons, um, are afraid to ask for support or feel like that's not, you know, kind of shameful to ask for support. And we want to encourage everyone, if you need help and support, please ask for it because we're here to offer that and to give that. And there is no guilt and shame when you need support. Um, we all go through our challenges in life and we want to make sure that you get what you need and, and that the children are safe and taken care of and that they have a little joy in their life during these holiday seasons as well. So now, um, we can take pictures when we go to visit the family. Is that, a, is that? Usually the families do allow that. Um, however, we have had a few families not want that. So it, it, it depends on the family, um, but we do require everyone to sign a waiver so that we can take the pictures and use the pictures, um, you know, to display or what have you. Uh, most, I would say 90% of the families do allow pictures. Yeah, well, we don't want to step on anybody's toes and if they feel uncomfortable we want to know we want to know that yeah we find all that information out in advance and let the donor know beforehand so we are going to go take the gifts uh next week i think it is is that right glenn then when are we going when are we going to take the gifts to the children I'm sorry, I uh, I muted myself. Oh, but uh, um, we're gonna meet this Friday, and um, uh, um, as Katie and um, Cynthia were going to join us, but they can't make it. Can you join us? Yeah, I'm going. Marcia? I'm going. Good, and uh, send you the address. But then, um, you know, we, we wanted to emphasize adopt a family more. You know, we're just a small player in this, and um, we're just uh, you know enjoying <laughs> enjoying this so much to be able to uh, you know participate. And um, I think they they're going to um, pick up their dinner on Christmas Day, so they'll they'll um, we ordered a meal for them but uh, we'll deliver the gifts uh, on Friday. Yes. yes, that is so nice when parents can go pick up a full, get a full meal for Christmas and, and feed their whole family. Um, it's awesome. Um, if the meal from Zippy's is fabulous, the Christmas, <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> they have so much stuff for their for the Christmas dinner, and um, it's, so Hawaiian. I, it's Hawaiian. Yeah, I'm sure. I am so sure that they're going to love it. It's Kalua pig, uh, lao lao chicken long rice, 
um, Lomi salmon and halpia. Nice. Poi. Yep. Yeah, that was recommended and by. Poi. And poi. <laughs> It was recommended by your organization. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's something that um, families really enjoy, especially that local food, right? Can't always uh, afford or have the means to do all those fixings. So special. Thank you so much. Yeah, that one sounds really good. And uh, I am absolutely, I am sure they will enjoy it. No doubt. Yeah. Well, you know, we only have a minute left and this has been such a pleasure. Um, Glenn, I just adore Glenn. He has given for as long as I've known him, he just gives and gives and gives whatever it is. And so I thank you, Glenn, for all the years that we've been together and all that you've done. And Lisa, what a wonderful art project you have. I am so pleased that there are people like you in the world that give and make sure that other people have. This is just a wonderful opportunity. And again, um, we have your address. Uh, Eric, did you put up the address? I didn't see it, but I'm sure you did. Uh, where they can le reach Lisa and um, anybody that wants to contribute and how they can contribute and you call and how to reach Lisa. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. We are just about out of time. As I said, by the end of the day, you will get a link from Haley that gives you where you can send the program to whomever you want for as many people. You can put it on your website. Um, hey, we'll do whatever. that. Yeah. And, and thank you so much. Thank you so much for having Parents Inc. on and for Glenn, Dr. Ping, and you, your generous hearts and giving back to the community and our adoptive family program. Mahalo nui loa. Mahalo. Thank you again so much. And we'll see you next time.